Hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. Now, so previously I did a video for OBS Studio on how you can add an audio visualizer, spectralizer, spectrum geyser. Loads of people told me that I've been saying it wrong. I don't really care. It's basically a way that you can visualize waves and sounds on your screen, but also then add it to your stream. But at the time, I used a plugin called Spectralizer from OBS Studio, and it was very specific to OBS Studio. But I did promise in that video that I would do a Streamlabs OBS version so you can add an audio visualizer to Streamlabs OBS. So if you're a Streamlabs OBS user, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add the audio visualizer to your stream, how you can tweak it and make the best of it, make it look really, really cool for your stream. If you're an OBS Studio user and you want to do basically the same thing, you could watch this video for inspiration and give me the view if you really want, or you could just check the link in the description, which is how you can add the audio visualizer. What I'll also just mention to anyone, regardless of the platform you're using, and that includes XSplit and OBS Live and Stream Elements, whatever it is that you're using, I'm also going to link a couple of other videos in the description Let's just show you how you can make them visually more appealing and also how you can add the Spotify album artwork or the Apple music artwork and also the name of the song which just gives you a number of different options on how you can just make the music experience on your stream better. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. We want to make your streams awesome, right? If you do find this useful, hit the like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to come say hi by popping into my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. We're going to get straight into it. Let's go. We're going to be using a free application here called Plane 9, which you can download. It takes 30 seconds to install. And there's a load of features from this application that allow you to do loads of different visually appealing things for your stream. Some of them are quite cool. Some of them are just downright wacky. And I'll show you a preview of some of these when we download it. And just click this download button here. You'll then get a download to show. You can right click this, show it in folder. You'll then see it shown in folder. Now I noticed that the icon to show that it was an actual application didn't appear at first, even though it said that it finished downloading for me. If you just double click that icon after about 10 or 20 seconds even if the icon is white then it should still download for you double click into it and this will make it install now click next choose a folder agree to the terms you may want to turn off some of these extra things that it downloads obviously these two here are the default just choose which things you actually want on your computer and not now, we just want to make a note here of where exactly we're installing this to. Or you can browse to install it to a new location if you want to do that. Click install. I just copied that link there to my clipboard. We've now finished. That application's now installed. And you can see there exactly how quick that was installed to the PC. Now, the two ways that you can access this now. We can either go into by pasting the directory that we just placed it to. And scroll down here. You can only install it with this. Uh, and there are some other application icons here, which we'll get into in a second. Another way is simply just to do a search for Plane 9 and you can open it in windowed mode. And that's quite important because I found when I did this, and you may get frustrated with this when you try to install this, if you don't open it in a windowed mode, it's it kind of just takes over your whole PC. And if you're using multiple monitors, that's going to be a problem for you. So first, let's double click on the .config here. This will open up the application. And here we've now got, and as you can see, a massive choice, different Plane 9 backgrounds and scenes, and almost like screensavers that we can choose from. It is responsive, so if you resize it, it kind of resizes the icons like that. We can now get rid of this here because we're inside of the application now. Now, you may just want to right click on here and pin it to your taskbar if you plan on using this application every single stream because that just means you can click on that and it'll open it up for you because you will need to run this to allow the audio visualizer on your stream. If you're not running this program when you stream, this will not work. It's not a one and done situation. You have to have the window open to show the audio visualizer. We'll then bring that into Streamlabs OBS and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Some of them are super wacky. This one's got eyeballs and all sorts, but there are some cool ones. There is a block spectrum here. There's also another one that I saw up here, which is a monster spectrum, which is like a double-sided spectralizer. There are some natural playlists here that select a number of them, and with these options here, you can actually basically create your own playlist. There's a calm one, a default one, party, whatever. We want to add a new playlist. We're going to call this, double-click it, call it Slobs Audio Visualizer. Currently, there are none of these scenes that are added within that playlist. Now, you can add a, a number of these if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just add one simple audio visualizer onto this. This laser one's kind of cool. So just a note, if you double click onto the scene to preview it, it will just try and take over your computer. I got really frustrated with this for about a minute or two. So what you just need to do is next to your playlist, select it by clicking the arrow here. We'll add it to your selected playlist here. And if you just click on this little icon here, it will open it in a windowed mode. So there's a preview of that particular one. It's this 
window mode here that we're going to bring into Streamlabs OBS. You do not want to be having this in full screen mode because it literally will take over your computer and drive you crazy. Just another note here, you'll sometimes get it with some of these scenes that you select that it's black. If it's black, that means that it's not like a repeating back ground screensaver. If it's black, it means it's basically waiting for some sound input. And there are some settings that you may want to look at first just to make sure that the sound is actually coming through. The options tab here allows you to do that. We want to capture sound from default recording device instead of what you hear. Now, this is up to you. If you want it to capture absolutely everything that you hear in your headset, it'll take stuff from your headset. If you only want to capture stuff from a specific line, you can click this and toggle. Go to the sound settings here, open the sound settings and go into the control panel. And on the recording tab here, if you scroll down, it's going to try and take from the default device, whatever this default device is. So you can obviously change it to be any of these devices you want by right clicking and then saying set as default device. In this case, I'm saying set as default comms device, but you'll have an option to set as default device like this. Just bear in mind, if you change things in here, there is a rolling effect of those defaults on all of your other programs. So just be careful with what you do actually change here. To be honest, if you've done a load of other configurations on your stream, particularly if you're using some sort of mixer device or an XLR, you'll more than likely know a lot more about this. If not, check out my Go XLR playlists, which I'll also link below. That'll just give you a little bit more of an idea of how those settings actually work. So my personal preference here is that I want to capture the sound only from the default recording device which is the line in for me for me that is my go xlr line in which is basically like a broadcast mix of everything that's on the mix there's other stuff that you can do here like layered scenes in vr and some of the vr settings as well so now that we've looked at the settings really you just need to select the spectrums that you want in there if it's one or a number of for now i'm just going to go with the one spectralizer this one's pretty simple and straightforward i'm going to open it up by clicking this tab here and we can see this is sort of working but kind of not let me just try playing some music now okay that appears to be working pretty well just a note here that the obs studio version of this that i went into there's a lot more control because it was a plugin directly into obs studio whereas this we're capturing a separate window and placing it into OBS Studio, there's obviously going to be a lot less control that you can have over that because you are capturing a window. But there's still some stuff we can do, like take transparency away, colors overlay, shading, things like that. And I'll go into that later in the video. So I'm pretty satisfied that that window capture is now working here. But just definitely note that you need to click on this icon to open it up into a window like this. So at this point, you can technically close down the Plane 9 application and this window will stay open as a separate window. Now we're going to hop into Streamlabs OBS. We're just going to open up any old kind of scene that we want to add this onto. We're now going to click onto the plus icon on the sources. There's a number of ways that you can add this. You can add this with a Windows capture. Could even do a display capture if you were displaying the full audio visualizer on a full separate display on its own. I wouldn't recommend it doing it that way. But if you go into game capture, that gives you a little bit more control over the specific application that you're going to capture. We want to add a new one and we'll name this so we now have this source. First of all, I'm going to say, okay, I want to capture a specific window here. Now, you could set it to capture any full screen application, but the problem with doing that is if you have multiple full screen applications, it, there can be conflicts. So I'm going to have this source capture a specific window, and I want it to capture the Plane 9 application here. Now, just to note here, when I actually did minimize it, it froze the audio visualizer. So when I've got it going like that and I just bring Streamlabs to the front, it does still work. We've now got the application in now. It's running. We've not got Plane 9, the full selector application. So the load on the PC should be relatively low. So it's going to specifically capture that window. I'm going to now click Allow Transparency. So that'll just take away the black. But there's other ways you can do that. For example, using like a chroma key and chroming out the black color. To add a chroma key, you would right click filter and you would add a new filter called chroma key here and you would basically filter out specific colors a custom color that you want to figure out play around with these settings until colors disappear that you want to disappear as you can see Already, this actually looks like quite a cool effect for the old audio visualizer if you want like a subtle effect. But that's not the effect I'm going to go for. So I'm going to actually remove that by clicking the minus icon here and just go with the base settings. Now, at this point, we could just use this as it is. For example, just pulling it into the bottom. I'm making it full size or right clicking and going on transform fit to screen. That's fine and that will work. And if we just test it with the music, we can see it's reacting to the music and that works pretty damn well. 
but it kind of looks a little bit crude, don't you think? I'm not a big fan of this, so I'm going to do a few things in this video, and I'm going to link some other videos below if you want some more tips and tricks on how to make this look really, really nice. This is already quite a long video, so I don't want to go into too much detail here. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to click Filters. There are some visual presets within Streamlabs OBS that are actually pretty cool in among themselves. For example, a grayscale, sepia tone, dramatic, and so on. I quite like the inverted one, so I'm going to use this as my base visual preset, but I'm going to add some filters to this. You can add a mask and blend, which would take out some gradients, and I cover that in the video that I've linked below for beautifying your audio visualizer. I'm going to go ahead and add a color correction here, and I'm just going to play around with some of these settings to make this look really, really nice. So first of all, I want to take some transparency out of this. Let's just put it to 50 so we can see stuff behind it, which is quite cool. I quite like high contrast colors, so I'm going to turn the contrast up. We can now use the hue shift to completely change the color of this if we want to. So you can just play around with that until you get to the setting that you want. So I'm now fairly happy with that as it is. Now that's quite a simple audio visualizer. And again, if we just play some music to test it, it looks kind of cool. It's definitely better. It's moving in the right direction. Check the link in the description for adding the Spotify album and the name of the song. So that'll add some further dynamicness to this so that people can see the album that's being played. They can see the song name that's being played and the artist. I'm going to just show you a couple of other quick tricks here to make the most of this. I'm going to resize this down. It can look pretty cool to have it in the middle like this, but if you right click and transform, you can have it to center on the horizontal and that'll just center it perfectly for you. You can then use the arrow keys to move it up and down if you want. I'm now going to hold out and drag this down to crop the size of the source because a lot of the bars are not really going up much higher than this, so I just don't see the point in having that again. It's going to move it a little bit higher. Now I'm going to control c and control v to duplicate this audio visualizer. And with this one here, I'm going to just drop it down, right-click it, transform again. I want to rotate it 180 degrees, which will invert it. That in itself has created a pretty cool effect that you can do some stuff with. If I now just right-click again and transform, Flip horizontally will allow it to mirror the one in front of it. And you can make multiple versions of this and all sorts. Now what we could just do is click them together and add them into a group and call it Audio Visualizer. So now when we resize that in itself, it'll resize both of them at the same time. And we can even rotate these further to make it like horizontal or whatever across top and bottom. And there you go. I mean, that's a fairly cool audio visualizer that we've got there. It's not perfect. There's still a lot more we could do with this, but I didn't want the video to be too long. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, hit the like. Feel free to subscribe to me. Have a brilliant day. And don't forget to be awesome. Take care. I don't know why I'm doing it over the front of the camera because it doesn't even full do the full screen this time. So I'll just, I'll just get my editor to edit in like a cutscene. Oh, wait. I actually edit my own videos. See you later. I can't remember which way round it was because there was a song on the way in and then a song on the way out that we chose. The violinist was just unbelievable. I mean, really good. We got a pian pianist as well. That's pianist, not a penis. We did not get a penis at the wedding, although Gemma did in the evening. Am I right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah.